Hello YouTube. Uh, before we get started, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if on the, when you click subscribe, subscribe, you can also click to get notified of whenever I put up a video. I'm just getting started, so there's a lot to come. Um, so this video here is a black and white challenge. Um, I wasn't challenged by anybody. I just wanted to try doing one in black and white. And I saw another video where someone did this pulling across method to do a moon. So I wanted to try that. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much during this, I don't think. I um, just want you to enjoy the process of it. Because as we're beauties, uh, someone told me that my videos are relaxing uh, to just watch what happens. Um, it's kind of crazy to think that all this painting that we do is from spray paint and just lifting paint up and moving it around. Um, I invite you to watch others that I respect. Uh, a couple of them are Sketch and Tom Willie Wells. Uh, there's many more and I'm sure I will comment them as we go along. Um, but yeah, let's just watch this for a little bit. I will comment here and there and hope you enjoy it. Okay, for this next technique here, I used uh, empty soup can, uh, tomato paste, I believe it was. Um, if it stayed like that, it would have been perfect, but black wasn't dry enough, and it started to seep into the black. You can see it kind of get duller as it goes. So I tried going at it again to try and make it a little darker. Unfortunately, I pointed the nozzle at the wrong place and came up with that sort of mess there which would have been fine itself if that didn't start to dissipate into the black paint as well so i have to fix it up uh you'll see it in a little bit um putting on the stars now there's a whole bunch of different methods to do stars uh, i prefer the flicking over everything else um and if you see at the bottom right there of the black uh, those the paint was too thick on my fingers and it made splotches so I'd fix that up well as well when I fixed the planet there you go we took care of that moon planet whatever we call it and then I decided to put some over here and cover up that area so we need more stars and then I'm going to put the crescent moon back in there Same method, and I uh, get it better this time, spraying it off to the side. Came out pretty well. And here I'm doing some shooting stars. Uh, there's a couple different methods to do shooting stars. I prefer using the paper one over putting the can upside down But I didn't bend the paper properly. I should have had the top bending out a little bit more and spray more to the side of it To make a better shooting star uh, No matter how many times you learn things you're gonna forget more than you ever learn So I keep kept forgetting techniques and things and that was one of them So if you see that big white streak down at the bottom, I didn't like that. So I wanted to fix that up as well uh, here's our moon reveal. 
all kinds of different colors. So well, not different colors really, but just different textures. And I'm spraying a little black on the big planet there. Moon, whatever we're going to call them. This is how we put in some mountains, so I'm doing white, and you see I went up there a little bit to get close to that ugly shooting star, and then I come in with black over top of that, and pretty much do the same thing, go up there and make a point, and then I'm going to come in and drag paper across, and more or less hide the ugly part of that shooting star. What do you think of those mountains? I think they came out pretty well. I was able to carve in some good lines in there and make it a little bit interesting. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of these mountains. Um, I'm always worried about what I do in some things. Mountains is one of those. And then I'm coming in some waterfalls here. What I really liked about this painting was that I was relaxed while doing it. I was enjoying myself. Um, the actual painting of it, without the edit cuts, probably about 45 minutes. Um, so it was fun, relaxing. I messed up a few times, like that moon up there, the shooting star. 
and then I mess up a little bit here in the spray of waterfalls. But I fix some of the stuff. And that's what beauty of spray paint is, is that you can paint over things and you can fix them a little bit. Hopefully make the whole thing better. So here I go putting in some new land texture on the side there. I did not plan on having any trees in this painting. I just wanted to have mountains, lake, waterfalls, moons in the up in the sky. But as you can see underneath that waterfall there, the triple waterfall, the paint's kind of going funky. So I need something to try and cover that up. Um, first thing I'm going to put in some highlights in the water and then I'll come in and fix the rest. Tree carving time. I'm calling this the White Tree of Gallandale. Seems like a good name. Uh, it's kind of old trees all growing out of one spot with visible roots and it just has this white skin to it. So there we go, the mess up of the mist underneath the triple waterfall, a little bit hidden. And putting in a little bit more tree design. The one thing I did not want to put in here is any foliage on the tree. I just want to plain. Maybe the water is acidic and it killed the tree, so there are no leaves on it. I can make up all kinds of stories for you. There are the roots, and then I put in a little bit of scraped in kind of plants down the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed this painting. Um, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if it relaxed you at all watching. Let me know if you want me to shut up, if you want me to talk more. Um, my mother says I have to try and be more outgoing and exciting about it. Um, I actually do the audio for some of these while laying next to my three-year-old grandson as he falls asleep, so I don't want to be too loud and exciting. Um, but I did love this painting. I think it turned out amazingly well. Um, yeah, I'm going to clear coat there to cover it up. And here's the finished product. I think it turned out great. I believe I put it up in my store so you can check it out. I'll put the link in the bio. 